I made a post and I said, stop using 2020, 2021, and 2022 Photoshop as a photographer. And I got a lot of DM asking me why. So I simply said, it makes your life easy. Now let me explain that in details. So for example, if I'm using a older version of Photoshop and I want to remove this live stand and this person on the bed right here, to do that, I'm going to pick on any selection tool and it's going to take me forever to do it and I'm still not going to get a good result. So what I would do if I'm using an older version of Photoshop, I want to pick on maybe my lasso tool or my polygonal lasso tool and just make a selection around the areas I want to remove, like so, and just try to use content aware to make it look good or remove it. And I'm going to show you the results you are going to get if you use content aware to do this. And I'm going to show you why you need the latest version of Photoshop to do this as well. So after making the selection, I'm going to come to my edit, click on content aware fee right here, and just remove where I don't want it to sample from. So let this work. So let's just wait for it to load so you can see the effect. All right, so you can see the effect. If I zoom in, this is what you are going to get right here. And I'm going to click OK. And from here, I'm going to press on Command D to deselect now. See the before and the after. You can see how rough it is and it's not looking good at all. So you have to still go inside and manually do it with close down tool or the patch tool to get a good result. And trust me, it's going to take you forever. Now, if you're using the latest version of Photoshop, all you have to do is come to your selection brush tool or any selection tool and just select where you want to remove like so. So after making the selection of what you want to remove, all you have to do now is just come to your generative field and just type remove and hit generate. And if you have a fast internet, in a couple of seconds, you are going to get an amazing result. As you can see, this is the first version, the second version, and the third version. So I think this second version works more. So you can see the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see how amazing the result is. So this is why I said stop using 2020 Photoshop, 2021 Photoshop, and 2022 Photoshop. Instead, get the latest version of Photoshop.